Hello everyone, my name is Sonny, I'm with CMH3 Studio, and today is one of those offbeat topics, not necessarily mobile app development, but something along the lines of quantum computers. And what if? Uh, what if Elon Musk decided to create his own, or start his own, quantum computer company? What would that look like? What would it do? How would it work? What would it be? Would it help his other companies? I think that's a good question, and that's what today's video is is all about so what if Elon decided to create this company and we'll call it Q it doesn't exist today but this is just an idea uh, what if he created a quantum computer company would it solve his other company problems uh, what I mean by that was would it help Tesla would it help SpaceX would it help Neuralink uh, that's some of the things I kind of wanted to talk about today. These are my own opinions and my own knowledge and very little knowledge I have of it. But uh, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I kind of want to know your opinion. What if, what if he has done this? What if, what if he could do it? How would that benefit uh, not only mankind, but how would it, you know, help us learn more about who we are and what we're made of? So the first company that could uh, that this quantum computer chip manufacturer and builder, we'll call it Q, could do for Tesla. Uh, Tesla, as you know, is an American uh, electric vehicle company, and they they provide clean energy, um, not only for the the vehicles that they create. But if you remember, they also bought Solar City, which is the solar cells that are on top of houses and buildings across uh, the world. And they also specialize in battery energy storage, which is a huge uh, uh, area of technology that they are just getting started with. And, and I think you've seen in Australia, they have a battery uh, grid system out there that's lowering the cost of, of the energy. Uh, so where quantum computers could help solve the optimization problems is in Tesla's auto bidder, uh, which is the grid uh, optimization efficiency technology software that they have created. Then you have autopilot, the actual autopilot that's on the Tesla vehicles that navigate us around the world uh, automatically and autonomously. It would also help with their power hub optimizations and Opticaster. Quantum computers can also perform quantum si simulation, and what I mean by that is they can help with the materials building for batteries and also for those solar cells uh, before mentioned used on buildings and houses. Uh, they increase their technology, they increase their capability of making cheaper, better, more efficient materials is going to result in a better cost for the consumer and thus making our uh, world a little bit more cleaner. If you think about SpaceX, which or uh, Starlink, which is part of SpaceX, Starlink is a satellite constellation that's going to provide uh, low Earth orbit uh, internet connectivity across the uh, the world. And the way that they are doing this is they're sending up their uh, Starlink satellites uh, using SpaceX uh, Falcon 9 rockets, and they're launching them. I think they're on their seventh or eighth launch uh, they're getting to the point where they're gonna have thousands of these Starlink satellites circling the globe and providing internet capabilities well you're gonna have to solve some of those uh, satellite positioning issues so uh, quantum computers can optimize that they can show them how they can best uh, give routes to their networking as well as the positioning of their satellites Plus, you know, when you're talking about internet security, you're talking about encryption, and as we know, as quantum computers will be very good at, uh, uh, we'll call it improving the cybersecurity by increasing the uh, amount of randomization that could be generated by the quantum computer. It'll provide better encryption, and it'll also provide quantum search capabilities. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but uh, Starlink is probably, I think, the next uh, company that's going to be split off from 
uh, SpaceX and it will become its own company later. But uh, Starlink, again, is just one of those other companies that Elon has, you know, created that can utilize quantum computers. And then you have OpenAI. So OpenAI is a, an artificial intelligence research laboratory. Uh, it is a consisting of a, a for-profit corporation called OpenAI LP. And OpenAI is probably one that you haven't heard much about, but they are doing a lot of uh, artificial intelligence problem solving. And quantum computers can definitely uh, help with that, uh, assist with that building of a safe and beneficial artificial general intelligence technology. It would also help uh, model neural nets uh, for human application and also provide more powerful machine learning. Then you have the Boring Company, uh, which, you know, the Boring Company is in some ways assisting what ended up being, uh, you know, something to do with Tesla and probably the uh, transportation systems that you've seen where they uh, take a all electric uh, bus, if that's another word for what uh, these transportation vehicles are, and they travel uh, underground uh, through tunnels created by the Boring Company. The Boring Company is an American infrastructure and tunnel construction services company founded by Elon in December 2016. And what they do is to help, you know, they're help trying to make our uh, travel, our automotive travel, more efficient. And by using quantum computers, they can solve optimization issues and problems such as geo planning. Uh, materials removal and even help in the structural models and simulations when they are starting out their projects. Uh, then you have SpaceX uh, in general. Everyone under, you know knows SpaceX probably just as well as they know Tesla. It's a pretty well branded company. And congratulations to SpaceX on on all their recent achievements, including the uh, demo two. Uh, mission to the International Space Station that was possibly the most inspiring thing that we've seen in uh, a long time for U.S. Uh, rocket manufacturing and, uh, and, and the like. Uh, quantum computers also can help SpaceX and they can help with their rocket materials and their fuel compositing. Plus they can also use it for their simulations for Mars missions and also the logistics for interplanetary travel, Earth to Earth travel. And then you have Neuralink. Neuralink is also an American company, a uh, neurotechnology company founded by Elon, and they're developing implantable brain machine interfaces. So where could quantum computers help with that? So quantum computers can simulate complex molecules, so chemistry. Decoding complex chemical brain chemistry would want to be would be one of the things that it could do. It could also provide assistance with biochemical analysis. Also, you got to have a machine strong enough to uh, match up with the human brain, uh, specifically machine learning with the brain cortex. Uh, so the limbic system would talk to the brain cortex, and the cortex would then talk to this neural link or third layer. Uh, so you got to have a very powerful a cute computer that can compute all these very uh, fast number of electron firings and such to to mimic and to, to learn how to how the brain is working so that they can assist with treatment of brain injuries such as spinal cord injuries or even seizures so I came up with the idea Q and I kind of gave it this little blurb. Q could be an American quantum computer company founded by Elon Musk and others, developing quantum chips and quantum computer technology. The company's headquarters could be out of San Francisco, but if they wanted to be in Kansas City, that's fine with me too. It'd be a shorter drive. Q would be a core asset to all these uh, different companies here, Tesla and Starlink and SpaceX. You know, I just think this could be something very big for them and very interesting. Uh, I want to know what you think. Uh, so if you want to please give a comment in the comment section, uh, you know, YouTube and even link 
or library offer uh, the way to comment on this topic and I would like to know what you think of such a, a company that Elon would do and what how would he run it what would it be like would it be better than Google would it be better than IBM would it outpace Rigetti and Honeywell I think it could just because he brings in the right kind of talent anyway that's today's video I hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe if you're on YouTube and if you're on library which I highly recommend library is lbry.tv and you can look for CMH3 studio and give us support if you feel like you've learned something and felt encouraged to promote the channel all right you guys you have a great afternoon